right. But it's Friday, so it's the right time to talk about movies. So we have our friend Tanya with us. Welcome. Thank you. I still feel like I didn't watch anything since the last time I saw you. <laughs> you always feel like I have to apologize, although I still had um, the... Um, you went on my uh, to-do list. Yeah. Well, in your defense, this is an unusual time where there's just not as many movie options as we're used to. So, Is a lot of that just due to the fact that the money's not there or is some of it due to just a lot of sets being shut down or, or productions being stopped thanks to the pandemic? Yeah, I think it's a little of both, but mostly the fact that everybody just stopped working for a while. So what we're seeing in theaters now really should have been released a year ago. You know, they just kind of put it on hold because they knew no one was going to the theater. Right. Um, and the the movie, the big one out this weekend is called Candyman, and that is the story of this one. It was supposed to have been released last summer, um, and then it kept getting pushed, and then they were going to release it, um, and it was competing with the new Halloween movie, so they wound up you know, putting it out this weekend. So a lot of flipping around like that. So I'm assuming Candyman's not nice. No, it's not. And I don't do Candyman, so... I think that's okay. You you have the right to not yeah. have to watch every single movie. Yeah. So this one is, a, I guess you would call it kind of a series, but the first one actually came out back in the 90s, like 92. Um, and so this is sort of a sequel. There have been some other sort of spinoff movies. So this is actually the fourth movie in kind of that genre or, you know, those characters and all mm -hmm. of that. But this is the first sequel from the 92 movie. Wow, um, that's been a minute. Yeah, it really has. But one thing that kind of lends credibility to this is Jordan Peele is involved. He produced it. Um, he's the guy that brought us Get Out. He's also half of... Uh, Key and Peele, uh, the great comedy duo that we all love. Um, but I think most everybody, you know, if I recall, Candyman didn't do so great at the box office back in the day, but it has become a bit of a cult phenomenon, you know, and um, it's where if you look in the mirror and say Candyman five times... <gasps> He comes and... So I've seen that. As soon as you said that, I've seen the trailer now. Yeah, yeah. He put has a little hook hand and... And the bees. Stop. Yes, yes, yes. And... No, thank you. Yeah, so the... the or If I remember, it's like he... When he was murdered or killed or whatever, um, he was like drenched with honey or something and like bees stung him. There was just some not so nice stuff. <laughs> so I can see why you would skip that one, Tanya, yeah. And so just they're, leave it to yeah. the ones who really need a thriller in their life. <laughs> but um, if you like it, I mean, definitely go check it out. Uh, some of the characters from the first movie are actually back um, in sort of cameo appearances. But um, yeah, so fast forward to 2021, and you've got. You know, the same candy man's out there doing his thing, so. Is that the only one that's um, coming up this weekend? Yeah, well, there's one more that's in limited release, and I, I talked about it last week, not realizing it's not everywhere. But if you have it in your area, um, it's called Together. And this is a movie that was actually filmed during the pandemic. Um, you know, a lot of the... Um, productions instead of completely going away they came up with ideas that needed fewer people so that they could you know in a safe manner produce a movie and so this is one that is about a couple that are riding the pandemic together and you know seeing the flaws in the relationship very relatable i'm sure yes very relatable and some of the things i've heard what well, it does have james mcavoy who is one of my favorite actors so to me that's worth going to see it um, but a lot of people are saying it's a little too soon, and they're not quite ready to well, watch there's probably this. this still, there's probably some couples who are still trying to yeah. get through it, or maybe, yeah, it may, yeah. It may be a little bit of a, it need, need, may have needed to wait until we're at the end of it. Yeah, until you're ready to laugh about it, it a little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> not, even though we all need a laugh right now, there's not a whole lot of us that are laughing about the situation we right. still, yeah. still find ourselves in. You mentioned Candyman having some of the original. Um, cast members. I saw um, a trailer or a little snippet of She's All That cast. I think it's like, what, 20-something yes. years later, but it's coming back as He's All That? Yes. 
Yes. But the 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 lady, what's her name? Addison Ray and Tanner, I think was the guy. The two of the original cast members will be in the new when he's all that. Where it's the same scenario, it's just the twist is there's a boy taken from kind of a geek to Yeah. to, you know, the man on I, that would be cute to me. I think yeah. that would be one I would go, see, or I don't know if I'd go see it, but I may watch it just because it brings back memories of She's All That. Yeah, and I think that's one that's straight to streaming. Um, oh, good. That's so right you up can my probably alley. check it out this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it already out? I didn't know I, that. I want to say it was today that it was coming out. I could be wrong, but I yeah, think that's today. what I saw. Oh, well, yeah. weekend plans. There yeah. you go. Now, I actually went to the theater to see the first one. <laughs> well, it's one of those movies, Tanya, that when it comes on, I'm talking about She's All That, I find myself sucked back into watching, you know, the romance and fall and yeah. at the end with the you know the pool and the lights and all I mean it's yeah a, it's just one of those classic rom-coms that you know how it's going to end but for whatever reason there you are yep watching there's just it. certain movies you can watch over and over uh-huh. yeah <laughs> talk about knowing how they end uh have you seen the Princess Diana movie that's supposed to be coming out with Kristen Stewart playing no, I saw the trailer that's, and I'm super excited was I was like I'll have to ask Tanya about her about it I think uh Kristen Stewart was a perfect choice I I do too before i mean when i first heard she was cast i was like hmm but Before then when i saw it. the first image of her i thought okay i'm buying it and then the trailer you really i mean she does a great job which you you think too like boy they've really squeezed every ounce they can yeah. out of that <laughs> that story but people people are interested in it and there's a different angle to take you know for you know no matter how thin you slice it there's two sides to every story and it feels like with that one there's <laughs> 20 sides to yes. their slice of ham. Yes, it just depends on who you talk to. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know when necessarily that one will will be um will be coming out but that will be exciting to to wait for yeah so that one i believe is coming out in november so it's it's pretty soon um dear evan hansen is coming out uh the 24th of mm-hmm. september that's the musical they've made it into a movie with some of the original broadway cast oh, fun. Um, so that's pretty cool but ben platt plays evan hansen and he's back um, next weekend, we've got Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So that's a Marvel movie. So that's something exciting. Labor Day weekend. Oh, so that'll be fun. That'll be a good big one to, to look forward to for sure. Um, and then another interesting coming out movie coming out in September is The Eyes of Tammy Faye, which is about Tammy Faye Baker. And uh, this movie, to me, screams Oscar bait uh, because you've got Jessica Chastain, who... The Academy loves her playing Tammy Faye, yeah. and so she looks just like her. I mean, it's amazing. It, it took me forever to figure out who it was playing Tammy Faye because she looks so different. Well, that would be something to look forward to. Larry and Jackson chimed in and said I saw, he saw the first Candyman and didn't sleep good for a week. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> even though Tanya hadn't seen the reboot or, I guess, the sequel of it, leave it to Larry and Jackson to let you know that if you want to sleep well through Ida, <laughs> Candyman is probably not the not the movie to to come out and sort of and sort of see. And then Matthew, by, uh, our bagpiper friend from Hattiesburg, when it comes to multisyllable repetitive names to call the scary people, will stick with Beetlejuice. You remember Beetlejuice? Yes, Beetlejuice. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think Beetle, Beetlejuice though. Matthew has anything on. Yeah. <laughs> Candyman. Although if you talk about like a creepy reboot, it would. I wouldn't watch it, but what they could do now with technology for Beetlejuice oh, yeah. versus what they had back whenever, you know, it came out. I yeah. think of that and then Tremors. I would love to see like a modern day. I, well, well I, I, I speak out of both sides of my mouth. I really wouldn't want to watch it. But, yeah. <laughs> but you could get Reba and all them back and do like a modern day Tremors. Yeah. And let the, let the technology do it justice. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they do it. I know. I think, and Kevin Bacon, which I feel like they'd have to get the some of the original cast to make it worthwhile. But you know, Hollywood, if you're listening to good things and you need some <laughs> inspiration, <laughs> you need some inspiration. <laughs> there it is today. Well, we appreciate your time, Tanya. We look forward to having you back next week. And you guys stick with us. We've got more good.